All right, guys, it's a rev your engine morning. Or maybe you're not even working out in the morning, I don't know. You'll need two sets of weights, an upper body weight and a lower body weight. Pick something challenging. We're gonna be doing some unilateral upper body and then some classic reverse lunges for the lower body. I know, I know. There are a few other things there um, and we'll go with that. Remember there's some cardio in here, not too intense but we're going to be doing a lot of mobility work. That's what I'm aiming for with the cardio. All right, it's a silent training morning. So if you need some music, you know, you can start it on up. Do me a favor, let's start it up. If you got a heart rate monitor, pick something like cross training. Uh, we're gonna kind of do a combo. And I want you to just start to march it out. A bright morning here in St. Lucia. That's nice. Nice steady march for me. Good. That's it. And we're going to pick it up in five, four, three, two. Give me a hustle. Nice and light. Listen to your feet as they touch the ground. Not too thuddy, nice and light. Pump those arms, come on. Fifteen more seconds. Pull the belly in, lean forward slightly. And march it out. That's round one. We're gonna do two more rounds. 30 seconds here, 30 seconds hustle. Good. Nice, easy march. Lift those knees, pump those arms. In five, four, three, two, give me that hustle, 30 seconds. that heart rate up, getting the body to start to sweat. Now make sure you're pulling those knees up in front, kind of landing on the balls of your feet. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, march it out. Catch your breath. Good, feeling some heat building in the body. That's it. You can march at your own pace. Yeah, you don't have to necessarily lift the knees up as high as I am. You can march like this. Yeah, option for you. In three, two, last hustle, come on. Well, last hustle for the warm up. Pump it up for me. 30 seconds. Heading into some dynamic stretching. Come on. Tilt forward ever so slightly with the chest. Pull the belly in. Bouncing up and off those balls of the feet. In five, four, three, two. Nice job. Just heel tap for me and give me three big inhales. Beautiful. Spread those lungs, lift those ribs. Nice. One more time. Excellent job. Good. Let's drive the right knee straight into the chest. Hold it here, rotate that ankle. Three big circles, clockwise and then counterclockwise or other direction. Good. Let's take that right leg into a quad stretch. Now let's pull the shoulder blades together, so take that left hand to the side and now lift that hand up. Good. Now into some dynamic stretches. Step back into that calf and then into the hamstring. Back into the calf, nice and slow. Control your movement and into that hamstring. Good. Stepping back, last time with the calf stretch. Last time with the hamstring on the right. Nice job. 
Open your legs wide for me, please. Release the hips. Oh, lean into it. That's it. Other direction. Excellent job. Good. Let's take that left knee up into the chest. Rotate that ankle. And then reverse the direction. Beautiful. Grab it. Quad stretch. Now, pull the shoulder blades together. Push that chest forward. Good. Lift that hand up. Excellent. The calf, hamstring stretch. So big step back, big step forward. Nice big movement. That's it. At your own pace, if you're a little slower, a little faster than me, that's okay. If you're a little wobbly, that's all right too. Good. Excellent job. All right, let's take the hands. Palms to me, thumbs up. Pull the shoulder blades together. Round and release. Touch the fingertips together. Round the back. Tuck the chin. And let's open and close. Nice job. Open and close. Beautiful. Shake it out. All right. We're at about the five minute mark. It's actually five and a half. That's a good gauge for our warm up. I've got some sweat on the shoulders. Get a sip of water. We're about to begin. Now we're going to be doing some reverse lunges, so I really want you to be cognizant of the things around you. So towel in front of you, extra weights in front of you, all right? My leg weights are over there. I'm going to pick them up. Good. We're going to do reverse lunges. Now we're not going to alternate, so we're going to stay on that right side. Chest up. You're going to take that right leg as far back as you can. All right, and then you're gonna come back to standing. What I want you to avoid is to come back and then have the right leg short. You want it to come back and meet that left leg. So a lot of control and balance here. If you can tap the right knee on the ground, that's what we're aiming for, that we have full range. But if you have some issues with the knees right now, they're creaking, making noises, feeling uncomfortable, then don't go as deep. Let's go, we have 10 on the right. Three, two, one, let's step it back as far as you can, tap it down. Come to standing. Good. One. Two. Three. Push into that left leg. Four. Good job. Five. Big step back. Come to standing. Six. Nice job. We're nearly there. Seven. Chest up, belly in. Keep your shoulders above your hips. Eight. Ooh, a little wobbly, but that's all right. Nine and 10, beautiful. Slide those weights in front, 10 deadlifts. Make sure you're bending the knees, pushing the butt back, let's go. 10, nine, eight, good job. Seven, six, push the butt back, bend the knees, five, four, three, that's it, two, give me one more, and one. Reset, we're moving to the left leg moving. Reverse lunges, three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, Seven, that's it, come on. Six, five, push into that right leg. Four, three, two, and one more. Excellent job. Get rid of those weights, catch your breath. Wipe, drink. Beautiful. All right. Okay. We're now going to be doing some unilateral work for the upper body. So I know I told you to get a pair of weights, but we'll only be using one at a time. All right. Let's pick it up in your right hand. 
So we're going to do underhand grip up, yeah, and then we're going to rotate the hand to down. So slightly different bicep curl. Bend the knees, chest lifted, belly braced, let's go. 10, rotate down, rotate up. 9, 8, 7, that's it, come on, 6, 5, look at it from the side, 4, 3, chest up, belly in, 2, and one more. Good job. All right. Now, we're going to take the left leg forward. You're gonna have your hand above the knee, somewhere on the thigh, and look at my back heel, it's off the ground. Yeah, we're working that lat. So we're gonna drop that shoulder and drive that elbow up. 10, nine, eight, seven. Good job. Six. Come on, five, drive that elbow high, four, three, two, don't come out of this move, and one, good, stay here, now just unilateral fly, so we're going to take that hand out, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, square the shoulders, lift that elbow, two, give me one more. Good job, get rid of the weight. Take a moment. All right, slightly different core work. You're gonna use one of the weights from your lower body. Slightly different core work. The idea is for stability, all right? Are you ready? Grab it. Right hand. Come on. Take that weight all the way up, hold it. Now you're gonna lift that right knee. Hold it up. 10, nine, eight, square the hips. Seven, hold the body still. Six, five, four, three, Two. Now I'm going to tap the toe to the ground. Ten. Drive it up. Nine. Balance. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Come on. Four. Hold it straight up. Three. No bend in the elbow. Two. And one. Good. Hold it back up. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Get rid of it. Oh. All right. Cardio. We're going to start in 30 seconds. It's knees over toes. We're going to be tapping those knees down to the ground. All right. Yeah, one minute of knees over toes. That's not it, but that's our first minute. In three, two, one. So you're gonna come down, tap the knees, come back to standing. Option, you may need to use one hand. Option, you may need to use both your hands. Okay, it's okay. Up and down, at your own pace. You wanna challenge yourself, go a little bit faster, yeah? Now, you might notice I'm resting my knees on the ground. Want to challenge yourself? Don't rest them. Tap them. Yeah? That's an option. Not as easy as it may look. Come on. That's it. 35 seconds gone, 25 seconds to go. Use your hands if you need to, all the way down and up. This will help you with mobility and flexibility. It's challenging on the heart because we're going down and up. Come on. 10, you're not gonna get any better by standing there looking at me. Three, two, 
One, come down on the ground. One minute mountain climbers. Let's go. So you're in a plank position and you're driving the knee into the chest. Your pace, as fast or as slow as you want. Come on. Let's go. That's 35, 25 to go. We're not done. I'm gonna come back up to standing. Come on, stay with me, drive it. 10 seconds. Stand it up, legs wide. All right, let's go side to side. Now, you go as deep as you can, all the way down, all the way up. Yeah, now you realize why we have such a short set of weighted legs. Yeah, come on. This again, very good for hip mobility and flexibility. Side to side, all the way up and down. Good, 20 seconds to go. Come on. Good job. Three, two, one. Alternate repeater. Drive those hands over the head. One minute. Come on. So we want those hands above the head. Good job. We have one minute after this and then we are done. Round one. Come on. Step back, drive that knee higher than the hip. Drive those hands over the head. So we have no jump cardio today. Yeah, it's an option. Just keeping it varied. 10 seconds. Come on. Three, two, we start as we began. Knees over toes. Your pace. Use your hands as you need. Really good for the hip joint the knee joint and the ankle, working on mobility. Now play around with the width of your feet. I just took mine a little bit wider. I can feel it a little bit more in the hip. Play around with it. That's 35 seconds, 25 to go. Now I'm having them really close. Playing around with it so that I get that joint working. Less than 15 seconds. Come on, we're done, we're done. Five, four, three, two, take your break. Well done. All right. You know what the rounds entail. Think about where you could go heavier, maybe. Think about where you might need to go lighter. Are you compromising technique, posture? All right. It's not a dead science. You kind of have to feel it out for yourself. So don't be shy to play around with your weights. All right, one of the benefits to doing a home workout and using dumbbells is a lot of stability and control and unilateral work that has to occur once you're holding dumbbell. Unlike a bar, a bar you can go a lot heavier, but you've got it braced by both sides of the body. All right, 
Okay, that's one minute, 30 more seconds, and then we're starting with round two. Remember, we start with the reverse lunges, right leg. Get another sip. Make sure there's nothing behind you. All right, 15 seconds. All right, well, let's go. Pick up your weights, please, one in each hand, something really heavy. Come to standing at the front of your mat, chest lifted. In three, two, right leg only, reverse lunge, let's go. 10, nine, eight, as deep as you can. Seven, as far back as you can step. Six, five, you're pushing into that left leg. Four, come on. Three, two, drive it back, one more. One, weights in front, deadlift. Three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, good, left leg, reverse lunge, three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, push into that right leg, five, four, three, two, and one, get rid of those leg weights, take a moment, Catch your breath. Left arm, upper body. Grab your one weight for me, please. Underhand up, twist, underhand down. Three, two, one. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Right leg forward, hand middle. If you want, you can also rest the elbow, that's an option. Let it drop. Three, two, one. Let's go. Ten. Drive that elbow up and high. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. This should not feel too bad. We're using a very large muscle here. Four. Three. Two. Give me one more. Now, flies. Take it out to the side. Ten. Nine eight, seven, six, squeeze that up, shoulder blade in, five, pull it into mid back, four, three, two, give me one more, one, good job, stand tall, get rid of that weight, grab one lower body weight with the left hand, drive it up, Straight over the head. Lift that knee. 10, 9, 8, 7, balance. 6, brace the core. 5, 4, 3, 2, heading to the taps. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, come on, and one, up and hold for ten, nine, eight, 
seven, straight, six, five, try not to lean, four, three, two, get rid of it. All right. Oh, we have about 20 seconds. Five minutes of cardio. Are you ready? Knees over toes. Don't cheat yourself. May not be looking like me, but that's okay. The idea is to deep squat. Let's go. One minute. Play around. Use your hands if you need to. Option. Yeah? Lots of options here. What you wanna do is come down onto the ground and come back to standing. Okay? Really good for the heart, really good for the joints. So we're looking at mobility and flexibility here. Now speed it up so you become a little bit unbreathless. 30 more seconds. I'm gonna just try and take a little wider, work my hips a little bit more. Challenge myself in these workouts. Just so you look, you can see what challenge looks like. Yeah? Not just picking things that are easy or doing things that are easy for me. Three, two, one. Come down. One minute mountain climbers. Let's go. You know these are my favorite. They're not. Your pace. You could walk, you could jog, or you could run those legs. Up to you. Keep the shoulders straight above the wrists. Tuck the belly. So you want to suck the belly in, tuck the hips. So there's an anterior pelvic tilt. That way you're flattening out the back. Push through the wrist. Pull the shoulder blades apart. 20 seconds. Fifteen. Three, two, stand it up. Legs wide, side lunge, as deep as you can go. Again, this is about mobility. You go as deep as you can. Up and down. Find a pace that challenges you, makes you breathless. Thirty seconds. Less than ten seconds. Three, two, alternating knees, hands up. Some effort with those hands. Don't let them flail. Straighten those elbows. Seeing a lot of this. Don't wanna, not sure why. Reach. Come on. Find a pace that makes it uncomfortable. Get a little bit of breath, you hear it. Maybe it's a little bit raggedy. Making sure that you're a little bit uncomfortable. 15 seconds. Come on. Three, two, knees over toes. Now, if you wanted, you could have a stool nearby to help you get up. You can use a broom handle, a chair, all right? Anything, okay? So you can come down to your knees, step up. Come down to your knees, Step up, yeah? All of that 
is improving that working on the ground ratio. Yeah, coming down onto the ground. I know it's not something we necessarily enjoy, but crucial. Probably the most impact you will have on your overall mobility is doing these. Come on, 20 seconds, no, 10 seconds, 10 seconds people, push, push, push. Good, come on, that's it, and rest. Minute and a half, round three. All right. Okay, we might be a little bit tight on time, so round three is gonna be a combination of the left and the right side. All right, so we're gonna kind of double up. All right, so prep yourself. Okay, we're coming on to a 45 minute break. We have about 45 more seconds before we begin round three. Grab something to drink. All right, 30 seconds. Try and ease that ragged breath. Try and slow it down, calm the heart. Yeah, it works both ways. You controlling that breath can calm the heart, can calm the body, okay? As well as the mind, yeah? So body to mind, mind to body, they both work. All right, guys, let's go. Pick up your weights, please. Stand at the front of your mat, please. Right leg first. Three, two, one. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Weights in front, deadlift. Three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, come on, two, and one. Stand tall, left leg, reverse lunge. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, this is five. And one, good job. Get rid of those weights. Let's double up with the arms now. Wipe. Grab one weight for me, please. Bicep. Three, two, one. Up and twist, down and twist. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Left leg forward. Let's go, side. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, flies. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Put that weight down. Grab the heavy weight with the right hand. Come on. Three, two, one. Straight up. Let's go. Tap it up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up and hold. Good job. Get rid of that weight. Let's go. Other side. Bicep. Three, two, one. Up and twist. Down and twist. That's one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Give me two more. Good. Right leg forward. Three, two, one. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Look at it drop. Six, five, four, three, two, and flies. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight. Seven. Give me five more. Uh, get rid of that weight. Oh, pick up the heavy weight. Left hand. Three, two, one. Let's go. Lift that left knee. Tap it out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up. Good. That's for some core, some balance. All right, short break. Five minutes of cardio and we are finished. Get something to drink. You have about 25 seconds before we begin. Same set of five. Okay, I want you to challenge yourself. Come back to me. We start in five, four, three, knees over toes. Let's go. Challenge yourself. You know what this five minutes entails. Yeah, this workout is your workout.
That's 30 seconds, 30 seconds to go. Use your hands if you need to. Step up if you need to. Think about the benefits, the mobility benefits. I know so many people who cannot do this. They cannot get down on the ground and get back up. Yeah? This is insurance. This is insurance for you. Come on. Doing it today so you can do it tomorrow. Good. One minute mountain climbers. Challenge yourself. Fifteen seconds. Come on. Stand it up, really wide, side lunge. Seconds. Ten seconds, guys. Come on. Alternate knee. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. Knees over toes. Just in time, Antonia. <laughs> Can't miss it. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Challenge yourself. Did you hear how I dropped those knees to the ground? Try not to do that. I know as you get tired, things start to go drop down a little faster than you planned. Okay? Control it. Challenge yourself. Come on. This is your insurance policy. Yeah? One of the things, okay, as you get older, less able to get up off the ground, you fall, you're not able to right yourself, yeah? This is your insurance policy for that. And it's only gonna work if you do it now, yeah? I mean, you can always start in a year, but it'll be harder, I promise. Five, four, three, two, and rest. <sighs> White drink, you are done. <sighs> so, <sighs> physics talks about friction, and one of the major laws for physics things in motion tend to stay in motion, things at rest tend to stay at rest. 
is also true for, you know, overcoming certain things, yeah? There is like mental friction, yeah? The more things you gotta do before you do something is like friction, okay? And sometimes we have to move those things out of the way, yeah? Setting up, you know, the night before, having your clothes out, little things that ease friction along the way, okay? So think about that today as you go about your day. What is really friction? I mean, we're very grateful for it. It's why we, you know, our shoelaces stay tied, our pants stay up. Uh, <laughs> it would be a dangerous world if there was no friction. Uh, well, you know, there wouldn't be a world, but anyway, yeah. So think about the physical friction that helps you exist as you are, appreciate it, and also think about the mental friction, things that you put in your way to stop you from accomplishing things, okay? Goes both ways. Get another sip of water, let's stretch it out together. Having my water bottle always filled with water, less friction to drink water. Very few times is my water bottle filled with water and I choose to drink something else. I think we're inherently like, you know, just what's easiest? I don't know. Try it out, might work. All right, let's go. Bring that right knee into your chest, please. Balance, <laughs> catch your balance, good. Rotate that ankle. Other direction, good. Now pull that thigh up a little bit more. Lift it, really kind of shake it out, good. Grab your foot, quad stretch. Square the hips, lift the arm, lift the chest, pull it away from the hips. Good. Take it all the way back, calf stretch. Lean forward on that left leg, push into that right. Excellent, stand tall, hamstring. Reach. Yes, good, shake it out. Left leg up into the chest, find your balance. Rotate your ankle. Other direction. Good. Pull it in a little bit more. Shake it out. Quad stretch. Square the hips. Lift the arm, lift the chest, pull the ribs away from the hips. Pull the belly in. Excellent. Calf. Hamstring. Oh, yeah, good. All right, put your hands on your thighs. Take your legs wide. Drop down to your elbows. Good, cat cow here for me, please. Lift the pelvis up to the ceiling. Head up to the ceiling. Now round, lift the center of the back to the ceiling. Drop the head, tilt the pelvis in an anterior pelvic tilt and release. Do the opposite. Lift and round. Good. Round it all the way up. Bring your legs in. All right. Open up the chest, please. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Good. Take the hands up. Clasp the hands, palms to the ceiling. Round the back. Tuck the chin. And shake it out. Good. All right. Let's do a little bit of a hip glute stretch. Okay, find your balance. Let's cross that right leg over and then I want you to sit down as low as you can. Just go into that hip, release all that work that we did. Good, six minutes of knees over toes. Good, other side. Find your balance, take your time. Did we do abs on the other side? No, we didn't, did we? Oh well, you owe me one. <laughs> Shake it out for me, please. Big inhale and exhale. Big inhale and exhale. Oh, let's go, big inhale. Clasp the hands down to the heart of the matter. Think about the friction in your life. What can you do to make life a little 
bit easier. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that. If you got some time, you know, hold that weight on the left side. Eh. <laughs> Have a good one.